I power up the CDI tester with a 66 to 16 volt DC. Then I change the pickup position to say uh, 10 degree BTDC, but it doesn't matter as uh, it's an analog uh, CDI on the test. The pickup width is uh, set to zero. I recommend this setup for an accurate measurement. The summary is displayed. And after a few seconds, uh, the CDI tester will put out a signal on the pickup output connector. So I connect the pickup output to the CDI input. The LED is blinking on the ignition. Then I have to power up the CDI on the test with a safety transformer, kind of. It's two transformer wired back to back. So that's a file from the main power. And no a spark can occur and uh, the, the, this spark is detected by the CDI tester via the clamp uh, connector. The 5 to 8 uh, wires around the spark loop connector. So now the CDI tester is able to measure the time that goes by the pickup and the spark. So you can see that it's uh, 30 milliseconds, so meaning 30 milliseconds is equivalent to 360 degrees. Here I can see the clamp signal, the spark detection. I change the frequency with the potentiometer. The maximum frequency is 300 because the the CDI is powered up by a main transformer with a 50 Hz frequency. And 50 Hz means 3000 RPM, but not.